kind enough to spend a few minutes with us. Angel, congrats on the win. Thank it, it, you. I, I think the three of us are sore just from watching the game. How do you <laughs> how do you describe playing in this game? It was a tough. I mean, it was personal, obviously, because we lost to them the first time at their crib and them coming back in here. We knew what they had. They had feisty guards. I mean, honestly, Scott Grayson, she's a pro and she does what she does. She does it a high clip. So I think we did a good job second half containing her way better. And I just think we played together as a team and played defensively. So it was a good fight for the SEC tonight. Well, this game obviously was going to go down to the wire and you made some huge plays. But there was a point in the game where I saw you and we saw you go and get the basketball. Yeah, I needed the ball. I needed the touch. I mean, I was dominating inside, and they couldn't give me the ball, so I had to go get it and then try to make a play as best as I can. And me and Coach have the kind of relationship where, I, we, where we can do that, so it was good. What was what was your coach saying to you as the game was going, getting closer and closer to close it out? Um, just keep being poised. Stay poised. Be a leader. I mean, I'm a vet on this team, and I'm coming off the national championship team, so just keeping the girls together, staying down, and having this atmosphere right here. We can't lose an atmosphere like that, so being able to have people like this come out, so it's, it was special for us, but I think we stayed poised, and we did well. Angel, what was more uh, uh, physical, you in the crowd yesterday um, mm. or uh, on the court today? <laughs> <laughs> Man. Well, you took a shot yesterday. yesterday. It's crazy because the guy that, that hit me, we went to high school together. That's that, that's so crazy, yeah. <laughs> and he, he posted on Twitter, he was like, that was my mistake for hitting you. For hitting you. But, um, yeah, it, it was cool. I'm glad. I'm happy for our men's team. And then being able to come back into this environment and the students coming back out and the men's team come back out to support us was great. Well, what does this mean? What does this win mean for you guys moving forward as you're getting closer and closer to the SEC tournament? Obviously, you still got a few more games to be played in regular season. Yeah, I think we're in a really good place right now. I mean, from our last loss, the Mississippi State loss, we took that and we took it was crucial. Um, so just being able to learn from our mistakes, going into film and studying film. But of course, we got to move on to Sunday. Sunday is at Tennessee, tough environment, it's a great team. So we're just moving on and, and taking it day by day. You know, last question. Let's just keep it fun here. Nikki and I were wondering, maybe at the tournament, some blush help, like. Yes. Oh, you know, yes. some makeup tips. Are you yes. open to that idea? Y'all gotta follow me. Y'all gotta follow me on TikTok. But I use a lot of different blushes: Dior, Giorgio Armani, Fenty. I work with <laughs> a lot of different brands. But hopefully one day I'll be the face of it. So yeah. I okay. wouldn't doubt that. We're looking forward to it. We need, we need a little it. help here, though. Yeah. 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 Hey, we're also asking about the red, though, right? The the the, the hair. You need a little more, more attitude hair. with the red. What's it bring out in you? No, this is just for this week. I mean, I'm gonna switch it up back up on Monday. So you know, I gotta do it. I gotta switch it up every day. Gotcha. All right. Great stuff. Hey, thank you for spending some time with us. Congrats on the win and good luck in the next one. Thank you. Thank you, Angel. <laughs> All right.